Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading. I uh, welcome back and if you're a new viewer, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you will be informed or notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. This week I've just using all, all um, oracle decks and they're all by Colette Baron Reed. I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, then the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms and the Crystal deck, my newest deck. Okay, and they're beautiful. You can see all the crystals in the review video that I made yesterday or the day before. Okay, so um, I'm, you can, a picture says a thousand words and there's also a quote or a saying on it and there is a number on it. Now you've got 49 to start off with and that's 13. Now for me 13 is not an un unlucky number because it means fellowship, friends. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. And a 1 and a 3 becomes a 4. So that means stability. So stability is on its way towards you. And the rabbits, this is the rabbit's spirit. So the rabbit spirit, I'll just put it there so I don't burn myself. This one has gone out, so we'll just put the energy there. I have to get a new one later. Okay. So um, I hope you can hear me. Um, the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Wow. Okay. Definitely, if the bound, um, the, the foundering uh, is solid, because four means uh, solid foundations, productivity. A sunny meadow calls, and the rabbit's spirit appears to lead you out of your dark warren and into the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience it may seem safe below ground but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new so again beautiful you are being invited into a new life that you have no experience with but hath no fear there is a new beginning though today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy rabbit spirit sunny prolific energy at this time wherever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground there are no mistakes really when you are co-creating with spirit so let new ideas spring to the surface knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibility this is the protecting message vulnerability is required of you now even if you don't feel safe act as if you tr you trust that you will be okay and soon you will see that you are okay to create is to take risks so at this time fertile time banish your fears and recognize the real security is in immersing yourself in the progress process of co-creation it's okay to admit that you really don't know how to deal with whatever is in front of you this is where curiosity and not knowing can be a wonderful state of mind be playful now admitting you are at the beginning of something come on out of come out to frolic in the sun's nurturing light because it is time to birth something new so there is a new beginning like I said wow it's going to be built on proper foundations whatever you're going to do 
you have a beautiful time ahead of you this week. Now, the card from the Hidden Realm is the Prison Waif. The Prison Waif. So don't create your own prison. Come out. I love this photo. It's beautiful. It also means self-sabotage. You will be self-sabotaging if you stay in the borough. So come out into the sunshine. And poverty, consciousness. If you think you don't have this, you don't have that, or you're not this, or you're not that, then yes, that is poverty thinking. So stop with that. Everybody is an individual, and everybody is beautiful in their own way. Just remember that. And this is 31. Okay, again, you have a fall. Make your foundations, strong foundations. Now your friend, when the prison wave arrives in his realm, as your ally, he comes to remind you of the law of paradoxical intent. Your own self-sabotaging sabotage, <laughs> thoughts and hidden beliefs are in fact preventing you from your highest good. You might believe that you are doing all you can to manifest your reality, but perhaps you are giving in to thoughts such as the following. I can't do this. I'm unworthy. I've, I'll fail anyway. So why try? I don't deserve this. I'm unlovable. In fact, you are locked in a prison of your own making. That's good news because it means that you have the key to let yourself out. This is a sign that you need to spend some time with yourself, addressing those beliefs. The, uh, the counter your heart that counter your hard work to get ahead. You can change them if you want to. You don't want to stay in prison, do you? Take inventory of your thoughts. Let yourself out of jail. <laughs> and spend a few minutes outdoors in gratitude. It's time to let the sunshine out. And when I was uh, reading this, take in inventory of your thoughts. Let's let yourself out of jail. I just got the monopoly, um, monopoly. Um, word in my head and do not pass go and collect 200 I don't know what that means it might mean something to somebody but you know you have to make an in inventory of your thoughts and feelings not just thoughts so that you can accept who you are and that you can love yourself and do this every day whether it's indoors or outdoors sometimes it's too cold to go outside so get your special go to your special sacred spot and do this and give gift gratitude and thanks for who you are now if the card is laid as a challenger or the challenge with this card is are you a prisoner or worried distrusted cynicism and fear do you constantly tell yourself there's not going to be enough or do you see only lack and poverty wherever you look? Don't, don't. That is, that is your challenge. Your challenge is your task not to feel like that. Perhaps your expectations are of negative results and repercussions serve to keep you imprisoned by your own thoughts. Do you feel that you are not allowed? So allowed? Success, success in life when the prison wave comes as a challenger he warns you that you're not seeing in seeing things in your life the results of those negative thoughts and expectations if you don't like what you see it is time to transform the way you see it so reset if you aren't happy with your life, change your thoughts that, al that alone has the power to change your life. Difficulties are learning curves, 
right now just remember that this person won't hold you for long take the time to learn about mistakes the lessons ensure later and greater success so what you learn and gain life experience or thoughts what you gain in wisdom or life experience experience will always stand you in good stead now we're going to rhodonite I love this stone it's beautiful it just looks like a cell and it looks like bubbles are coming together to the nuclear I love it I'm going to put it like that so that you're focused on rhodonite essential meaning is harmony in relationships that could also be in harmony with your own relationship with yourself easily connecting with others gener generosity reciprocity reciprocity discovering hidden talents to share with others uh, reciprocity is reciprocal reciprocal the same okay and to receive relationships helps us to reach our destiny and discover our purpose and people will come into our lives to be our angels on earth offering love encouragement and resources for building the lives we want for ourselves now is the time to connect to others in the spirit of generosity for rhodonite spirit is here to help you form healthy partnerships that benefit everyone allies can be invisible or come in unexpected guys so keep your eyes open listen to that little voice inside nudging you to reach out and extend a hand to someone you feel a connection to this person might have unbelievable ideas or solutions to offer you or be insp inspire inspiration or be the inspiration that helps you to find the courage to move into unfamiliar territory and express gifts may not have known you had conscious universe works through people so think about connecting today if not to an old friend or someone you love then to someone you've been too shy to approach heal the belief that you should do it all yourself we are in this together we are meant to work in partnerships exchanging our gifts to better the whole world so come out of that barrow now this is the relationship message if you have a question or an issue in a relationship this is the message for you this week all of us have gifts to share and deep and a deep longing to be needed so open up to a partnership that allows both of you to give and receive now is the time for you to reach out and take what is freely offered and to recognize the continual flow of reciprocity between you and the people in your life if you are feeling too enmeshed with someone and wondering whether where whether you end and that that person begins spend a little time connecting with rhodonite spirit to re-establish healthy yet fluid boundaries that allow a balance between you and the people you care about when you are generous yet aware of your worth giving with a healthy sense of self you attract those who respond in kind wow that's beautifully said this is the prosperity message this is for work and general life remember that he that healer you meant to check out 
that advisor you said you wanted to contact? Rode the night, spirit has come to say, now's the time to reach out, connect with someone who can help you mend what has become frayed or even broken, so you can ensure your prosperity will flow again. Perhaps it is time explored some of your hidden talents and revealed and revealed them. You are called now to be fearless and generous. Abundant help is available to you, and there is much more you can do to experience wealth. Take a class, learn from the ex an expert in an area where you feel unsure, and soon you will see that you are rich in resources. People will show you, will show up with plenty to give, time, money, guidance, whatever it is you need. Prosperity is your natural state. And in working with others in partnerships, right now you'll find it easier to believe that, it, that and manifest whatever it is you value. Now the crystal spirit meditation, you can hold a piece of rhodonite, or if you've got the cards, you can hold the card to your heart and your chest and meditate. Rhodonite assists us in identifying our hidden talents. It asks us to embrace them and ascertain how we may use them in heart-based service. This stone reminds us that we, that we each were given a specific gift, and we received it in order to share it with the world. Like I said, you, if you, you gather wisdom and you gather life experience, and you need to pass that on. Like, don't go and sabotage yourself, don't hide yourself away, don't go in isolation mode, come out of that bara and pass what you've learned on to third parties. Be the helping hand. You're never alone. Let other people know that as well. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. So take care my sweeties and be blessed and stay safe. Please share and like this video and I'll see you in the life or in the next video. Ciao ciao.